This is uh, Lanchester, this is the second of the two places I grew up in. And uh, we'll have a, this is a village which is 8 kilometres to the south of Consett and uh, approximately 16 kilometres to the north uh, west of uh, Durham. And uh, the first thing we'll start off with is I'll well, see the library's moved because the library is now on that side of the road, the southern side. It used to be in there. Uh, first thing that strikes me is being different. And what we have here. Uh, Walk up there, school, the school is down here on the right, so we'll go to my, see my, my former school. Now, Lanchester School, pr uh, primary school and junior school. <laughs> Used to be swing baths in there, and that building is, oh no, me wasn't there, it was further down. Can't recall. But it looks the same as it did then in the 1960s. Ah, there is one difference though, the entrance seems to have changed a bit. No, the entrance is in the same place. That's the place. Ah, oh, it's pretty similar. New entrance I see they've got. Ah, oh, maybe I'll just drop in. So that's the infant school I went to. And there's the junior school I went to. And the entrance used to into the school used to be around there, and that was the assembly hall. And uh, my last year, from when I was, there was 41 students in the class, and it was held in this, this here and our teacher was Mr. Charlie Smith and there was 41 of us in that year and I'm sad to say that at least four that I know of are no longer, no longer with us um, so that's, uh, that's unfortunate this wasn't here then whatever that may be Unfortunately, that's the school nativity play or whatever, so uh, it's the wrong day to come. So I've got no guided tour. Um, Kitswell Road down there. Football ground used to be down there. Got the sports field. I think I'll go into the centre of the village. Now, going up here in Newbiggin Lane. Uh, one thing everybody from Lanchester would recall, there used to be a lady that would sit on this chair permanently and even when they had the uh, postcards of the town were printed, showed the lady sitting there. Um, the railway line used to run up here and there was a bridge and uh, the bridge uh, the day it was taken down, I recall very clearly how they were dismantling it and one Sunday morning it was blown up. And you stand there just before the bank. Um, on the left, is what seems to be now a rather trendy looking estate. The workhouse stood here. And uh, obviously workhouses didn't exist in my day, but there, it, I recently found out that there were people who had been interned in here and were still there in the early 60s. Now, I, I'm not terribly certain when the workhouses, uh, or casual wards as they were later known, uh, went out of existence. I presume it was just before the Second World War, because George Orwell writes about them. At, I heard, for example, that was one lady who she probably got got pregnant outside of marriage sometime. I don't know, the turn of the century or something like that, and or even later, around the time of the First World War, and she was she was interned in there, and which is quite quite sad to think how recent 
it actually occurred. Like I said, this hasn't changed in 40 years, looks exactly the same. That's where the railway line used to run. The station is up there. As a child, I remember hiding from the trains. I can remember the steam trains going past. I think I hid from this part of the game, maybe, I don't know. I don't think I was frightened of them. Aldersides Crescent. I remember one of my teachers from the junior school lived there. In this house on the side, there was a shop. I used to be, but that would have closed hmm, beginning in the seventies. I left here in nineteen. 74. So I lived here from around 64 to 74, 65, 74, something like that. 64, 74, that was it. And unlike New Market Street, which I showed earlier, I do remember this very clearly. Oh dear. This was the weather. Took out that car there. Coming up on the left, there's one of my schoolmates who I lived and he was killed in the Falklands War. He died on Mount Langdon on the uh, 13th of uh, June 1982 and uh, he uh, died very heroically in fact because uh, he went and he ran out to help somebody who had been wounded despite the danger. and. Uh, Clearly it was a trap. He took three rounds in the chest. I think he lived there if I remember rightly. And uh, but, yeah, I think that's it. It was my second, third parachute battalion. And then the Canberra there. Everything seems so much smaller now, and uh, when I was in concert I thought things looked much smaller, and even though I was a bit older then when I left, this seems very small. The trees are the same, I used to live down here, in this street. And the garage was at the top. Can't say I'm sad to uh, not be here. Oh, neighbours have done the house well nicely. I remember as a child coming out here, I was quite frightened because of this. You know, the kids would make this as a slide. I was here in 2002, 2001, standing here, and I recognised one of my schoolmates' mothers. She didn't recognise me, she went past, but I ran after her. 
uh, Jean recognised me. Uh, well, that's, there's our garage.